take it to trails in the Falozi. I did my training as a wilderness guide there. Um, of all the rhino texts that they've had on those trails, it's been white rhino, and they've got a huge amount of black rhino. But one has been a black rhino, it's all been white rhino. These guys get a little bit too complacent for them. You've got to be careful with them. But they're a nice animal to walk.
Is that kind of why the other one's following it around? Mm -hmm. Probably why. Same mocking. See, there's actually no mocking. You come in to eat anytime during the year? Mm -hmm. okay. You get a picture of that?
When the when the lions were brought in, were they just brought in? The discriminators. Oh, okay. And keep after the discriminators. Yes. So okay. a lot of the game farms in this area were the transport, for example. Yes. Which mm -hmm. don't belong in this part of the world at all. Mm -hmm. But they're very attractive and the hunters like them and the tourists want to see them. And giraffes. Giraffes too. Yeah. 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 That's cool. What's it's about in yeah. Carla? Yeah. Yeah. All those and things we just saw, yes. Yeah, that's right, yeah. One of the reserves here, in fact, is so overstocked with predators that they have to buy in new antelope stock in the year. Most of the Eastern Cape yeah, do. Really? Makala. Yeah. The well, most, I think Shamwari do, Amakala, Kwanwe, yeah. most of them do. The tourists come in and they want to see a cat behind every bush sort of thing. Mm. Yeah. So there, there's simply too many predators for, for, for the uh, stock to, to support on a sustained basis. So, yeah. mm -hmm. I think your only reserves that where they don't have to, as in KwaZulu Natal, where the carrying capacity is higher, small reserves, where they actually yeah. don't have to bring in mm. extra antelope and stuff. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay, let me see if I can show this guy to first. Very photo right there. Absolutely, lovely example, eh? Yeah, so they don't have any parasites? Oh, they have a lot of parasites, yeah. ticks, they're just biting flies. But did you hear him say before that the ox peckers don't seem to make much of a living off of uh, no, elephants? No, There's no, just I not enough. I don't even recall seeing an ox pecker on one. Yeah. Yes, I've seen them on the buffalo. You'd say their sense of smell and their sense of hearing are the two most well-developed aspects of them. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yes, much much better than their than their sense of uh, sight. Uh huh. Detected over a distance of 15 to 20 kilometers. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Same in butterflies, though, I think, as well. You know, some yeah, of these migrating are, butterflies. It only to, uh, takes a couple of molecules <laughs> that's right, yeah. for them to... That is so cool. Can you... Yeah. Look at this little guy having a drink underneath here. Mm -hmm. So that one probably be about a year old now? Probably old. just over, because he's not fitting under the moment. Mm -hmm. you know, that's your rule of thumb.
So you said it's almost two years of lactation before they're weaned? Yeah, it's about and are, it. Are they weaned um, intentionally or do they just stop nursing? I think it's they're, they're weaned once they are getting sufficient nutrition from grass. Because uh -huh. it's a gradual process as they gradually replace the milk with the with vegetation. Sure. Yeah, right. So, it, But it's not the female cutting them off. No, it's, no, yeah. it doesn't seem to be, no. S shape thing, is that indicative of anything? Are they just smelling? They're smelling the air. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Beautiful life now, isn't it yeah. lovely? Yeah, yeah. It's a long piece of So these yeah. just small little units that are part of a bigger family group yes. that just yes. sort of go and forage and then yes. join up again. Yeah. That GPS or the uh, collar, radio collar on that one, yeah. right? just same color as the body. <laughs> yeah, well, they've, it's because they've been splashing in mud and dust. And yeah, of course. You can put bright red and yellow ones on it, and in weeks they're the same color as the body. <laughs> the the uh, law enforcement guy was telling us yesterday that they were... They're <laughs> Up ahead. Is there a rhino up ahead? No, there's like a guy.
Why? Well, camera died. So sorry. Oh, look at that crooked one. Holy cow. Yeah. Which one? Look at that crooked yeah. one. Oh, cool. Mm. Oh, sweet. Uh -huh. <laughs> There's a lot of cheetah prey right here. Oh my goodness, look at all ostriches. Can we stop by these ostriches? I haven't done this in the before. Man, I need to grab my camera. Okay. Yeah. Floor, yeah. Right. 
No, true. <laughs>